I think the relationship between Western science and yoga is going through a long evolution. Um, you know, it started back in the 1800s with this impression uh, from the media of these adept yogis doing these feats and these circus-like acts. And that was the impression of yoga. And then when yoga came to the West, it became a sort of a form of fitness. There were some television programs, it was in magazines, their studios started to come and people were practicing it as a, as a health practice. And we're reaching a point now where there's an exponential growth in the popularity of yoga not just in the physical form, but also in the traditional form of yoga where all the components are being taught. And so Western science is now evolving not just to measure the physical stuff, but also the more subtle stuff. The, the changes in, in psychology, the changes in mindfulness, the changes in life, meaning, and purpose, and in well-being. And as we move forward, we're going to get more specific with that in the science. We're going to see the effects of specific postures. Many people think that meditation is just one thing, but there's many, many different forms of meditation. And these different meditations can have very, very different effects. And so as the science moved forward, not only are we going to continue the validation of how powerful these techniques are, we're also going to get into the specificities of how much yoga do you need, and how often, and which specific exercises are the best to practice for yourself, but also for different um, medical populations. So it's going to evolve and become more complex in addition to broadening in terms of the amount of research that's being done.